where the girls are playing Division I semifinals. This is Notre Dame and Pick Central. Senior Jalen Johnson looking to get things going. Pick Central, whose three of five starters have D1 scholarships. First quarter Tiger deep by stifling the Eagles. Ashley Barron, though, gets the scoring started with a jumper. NDA on the board first. Later, Tigers Madison Green, the number five player in this state, pressuring Jayla Johnson, who eventually finds Grace Van Sluten for the mid-range. Eagles up three, second quarter now. Princeton offense working. Jocelyn Tate finds her sister Jada off the cut down low. Tigers up five at half. Second half we go. At one point, the Eagles will find themselves down by 16. 113 to play. Jayla Johnson nails the triple. Eagles within four. However, that would be as close as they get. Van Sluten finishes with a team leading 14, but Pick Central holds on for the 10 point win and advancing to the D1 state title game. For the sixth time in eight years, the Notre Dame Eagles have found themselves here in the state final four, looking to finally bring home a state title. However, Eagles came up just short once again tonight. They fall to the defending division one state champs, Pickerington Central. As, as the game, you know, kind of unfolded and, you know, we're playing, obviously playing against a very talented team that has a lot of depth, has a lot of players, well coached, um, you know, it, it was a, a game where at one point we could have folded it up and, and lost by 20 plus. And to the credit of our kids, I thought our kids did a great job of clawing back in and giving ourselves a chance, you know, um, down fourth, about a minute to go, a minute some change to go. And that's just a testament to how, to what their character is. I think we did all the right things. We put ourselves in good positions to score points to get back in the game. And for a while, we did a really good job of it. But I think their defense just started to wear us down. And then on the offensive end, we started rushing our shots. We weren't playing the way we were playing when we played Camp McKinley. So I just think their defense really took us out of our rhythm and changed like the entire game. Um, well, I know whatever I do, my teammates have my back, and no matter what happens, I'll always be proud of them. And it just it feels really good when no matter what, they pick you up, and it's it's a great feeling. I love them. I think for a couple of years that I was here, we kind of lost it. We lost our chemistry. We weren't as close. We weren't necessarily a family, just teammates. But I think this senior class, we had a goal in mind that no matter how far we went, we wanted to bring back the tradition that we lost, and we wanted to create that family bond again. And I think we really did that. Even starting the season, we worked on it. We never stopped working on it. And then after our big trip to Florida, I think we finally got there. It just speaks to the character of our team. I mean, all year long, you know, through injuries earlier in the tournament, to sicknesses early in the tournament, to all those types of things, to have a chance to get back to Columbus and play on the biggest stage um, against the best teams, it's unbelievable, you know. And and this, this team is no different, you know, than those other teams that made it here. Uh, you know, I really respect our kids and, and how hard they work to have this chance. One area team still left. Rogers will battle it out in the Division II state title tomorrow against Dayton Carroll. Tip-off is at 2 p.m. In Columbus, Danny Rogers for BCSN.